Stanford week going? Uh, it's been good. Uh, we've had a good week of preparation, and now it's just a matter of tightening things up, dialing things in totally from a, a knowledge standpoint, confidence standpoint, and, and go play. What does Stanford do well offensively that you're having to prepare for this week? They do everything well, you know, and they certainly have the capability of doing everything well. They're, they're talented uh, at every position. They've got a ton, ton of depth at receiver. Obviously, you know, they've always had a bunch of tight ends. They don't have the main number one tailback that they've had uh, for the past several years, but the combination of all those guys is still still really good. Um, and obviously, Hogan is, is, a, is a really good player. How do you contain an explosive player like Ty Montgomery? Yeah, that's that's job one certainly this week very similar to the last couple weeks we've had these dynamic whether it's a returner safety or a returner wide out um, tremendous challenge for uh, particularly in special teams of, of getting that guy on the ground I mean that that's that's almost a victory in itself is, get, is getting him on the ground somewhere on the on the field um, and then offensively they do a great job of moving him around whether it's wildcat quarterback motion guy uh, you know just a bunch of different ways to get the ball in his hands because he is he's that that type of guy. You have to force feed him. You mentioned the tight ends. They've had, like you mentioned, great tight ends over the years. Mm -hmm. Are these tight ends up to that level, or are they still developing them to be there? I think they're they're playing really well, and they put them in very similar positions. They're they're you know they're just different guys. They're the next guy, you know, whether it's like akin to, uh, you know, we have Royce and they have their next guy, you know, their next guy that they've plugged in at, at tight end, uh, that's just younger and hasn't hasn't made as many plays, but they're still still potent in, in, in the run game and, and the passing game. Along the lines, Mark, we talked in, a, in fall camp about getting guys bigger and bringing in bigger guys along the lines. Has that, has that happened? Are you guys, do you feel like you're ready to compete against corn-fed big guys along offensive and defensive Is that the lines? secret, feeding them corn? Because we'll do that. If that's, no, uh, we, again, like, like I've said in the past, it's a combination of factors. It's, it's recruiting. You know the the next generation of bigger, faster, stronger, smarter. It's putting them in the right position, and then it's developing. You know that that same talent. So it's part scheme, it's part recruiting, it's part development, um, and and those things are all hand in hand. Hopefully, we're better. I think we're better. Um, but you know, it's a matter of getting all those guys pointing in the right direction, uh, tackling great, playing with total confidence, finishing everything, uh, and and uh, you know, to be determined. It seemed business as usual for you guys this week. Uh, yeah, I mean we've had we've had good good prep. I think almost without exception um, this year. I think we had one one half of a bad practice one one week, um, but uh, our, our our training has been good this week. It's a pretty good record. One half of it one is, bad practice. It is. I mean you're gonna have you're gonna have some lapses play to play. You know here and there whether it's he's not happy or she's not. Happy. <laughs> um, uh, you know, some lapses, whether it's assignments or those kind of things. But the, the biggest thing is just effort, and and these guys come with such a great attitude every day, and, and uh, that that's that's the biggest deal, is just keeping the, the spirit up, the the you know all those things that the, the assignments and some of those things you have, you have to clean up all the way up until until game time, and, and we'll do that. Is that same as each year? I mean, is it that consistent, or is this group practice-wise been maybe a, a step ahead? Hmm. That's a good question. I think I think our guys have always worked hard. Um, you know, I think that that's that's hard. You know, whether it's with with distractions of of the game or distractions of life, school, all those things. But that's part of the part of the battle and part of the fun of it too. Change the subject a little bit. Is Marcus Mariota too nice? Is he too nice a guy? To is he play too nice? Level? Today's Marcus's birthday, by the way. Um, is is he too nice to what? To to play well in the NFL. There was some speculation in social media yesterday that no, it, no. somebody was really looking to find something wrong that's, and, that's, that's and the searching. critique was yeah. he's too nice. No, Marcus Marcus is is uh I think that whole thing is overblown now too of he's 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 this you know shy 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 guy. He's he's not that that way anymore. It's certainly in a in a football standpoint, a competitive standpoint, uh, whether it's practice, the weight room, uh, the guy the guy is Awesome and vocal and tough and smart, um, and and he is nice. Can uh -oh. a nice guy play? Can can a nice guy be successful in Absolutely. the NFL? Absolutely. You and Marcus both have birthdays in the same week. That's a pretty big week for you guys. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, I'm. I don't look a day over 61. Yeah. Did you serenade him today? Is there any something you did at practice? Was we actually had three birthdays today. How about that? It was uh, Kenny Bassett, Jawan Williams, and, and Marcus. So we there was no singing though. They 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 just. Gave him a hard time. 
Yeah. Maybe later. Hey, Coach, uh, Stanford held you guys scoreless for the first three quarters last year. What do you guys have to do differently this Saturday to jumpstart the offense? Uh, put them in a better position, coach them a little bit better, and, and execute. You know, there were a ton of plays to be made um, in the run game, in the pass game last year. Uh, same can be said for that two years ago. And, you know, that, that again is a combination deal. It's not this guy, you know, it's not his fault. Um, if it were that easy, it would be really easy. Um, but just, again, a combination of factors, and they're really good. They got, a, they got a guy, Jordan Pratt, from here who's about like a 28, 29-year-old receiver. Do you coach anybody that old? Yes. Um, I remember my first job, I had a 30, was it 37 or 39? Uh, yeah, 30, you said 37-year-old or 39-year-old, and he didn't last long. <laughs> Tried hard, but it was a little wear and tear. Um, but... Uh, no, that's always interesting. You know, those guys that are, whether they're minor league baseball players or military guys or mission guys or, you know, whatever the combination of, of uh, factors are. There's been a few of them, not many. Yeah. Is Marcus the type of guy you have to really worry about going out harder than the 21st birthday? <laughs> <laughs> there was some joke, there was some banter about that back and forth. Yeah, yeah he and Hironis, I think, are, I don't know, maybe splitting a saltine cracker or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Amani said uh, yesterday that um, being the hairstylist that he is, that if he could have his way with any coach's hair, he would have, he would get after Scott Frost. Uh, what would you like to see Hamani cut into his hair or do to his hair? Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, something maybe a combination of uh, you have to extend it in some area, maybe like a mullet. He's, he seems like a mullet guy, right? <laughs> and maybe spell Nebraska wrong or something in the, into, into his hair. Yeah, I have he, no idea. He said he wouldn't want to get after you. He felt like he'd be doing you more of a favor. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> uh, uh. Are you guys motivated by the fact that the playoff committee left you guys out? No, no. We, we need to focus on us and, and wor worry about our our deal. That's it. You know, we're playing a, an excellent team this week, and there's a bunch more uh, teams on the horizon that are really good, and, and this week matters, period. Stanford's already dropped three this year. I mean, what's different about them this year from last year? I don't know if there's that much different about them. You know, the, the games that they've lost are against really good teams, um, and they were very competitive in all those games. Um, you know, it's just it's tough. It's tough. It's tough sledding. You know, it's hard to it's hard to win every game. It's hard to win most games, um, and they've done a great job of that. And, and you know, I know they'll they'll come in swinging for sure. All right. Thanks. Thanks.